We're now into part C of the exam. Showing your work, a lot of problems like this. We'll, uh, we'll probably get the from 61 to 64 done on this video. We're starting with uh, this information. A laboratory investigation, a student applied various downward forces to a vertical spring. The applied forces and the corresponding elongation of the spring from its equilibrium position are recorded in the data table. We actually did this lab in our classroom. We applied the force of zero. It didn't move. We put a half a newton. We got it to move uh, a centimeter or so. A newton, a little bit more. We applied more and more forces in half newton intervals, and we got it to move uh, to about four centimeters altogether. We have to mark an appropriate scale on the axis, force normal which means we're going to have to include on our graph from zero up to about two and a half newtons. We're going to plot the data points from this graph and then we have to draw a best fit curve. So let's look at the graph we have to work with. Okay, they want us to scale the force axis. They've already given us the elongation axis and it's already numbered so we're pretty well set. We look at our data and we got to go from zero to 2.5 so we've got 2.5 newtons we have to work with and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 now 11, 12 major divisions but uh, 10 would be enough so we want 10 divisions for 2.5 newtons so if we have uh, a quarter newton per division that should get us there so we call that 0 we call that 0.5 1.0, 2, and 2.5 newtons. We've used a good section of our graph, we've covered all of our data, and it works. Now we could have taken 12 and divided the number of newtons per division and come up with some uh, fraction thereof but we really just want to use a good convenient scale that fits our graph. So that's the first part. Plot the data points for force versus elongation. That's worth a point. So now we look at our data. We got 0, 0. So we plot that. We've got uh, half a newton and 0 0.01. So that's right on the line. And uh, it's really, I teach to put a little XY intercept and then a circle around it. Uh, at one newton we've got 0 0.018. So we've got one newton. There's 0 0.02, that would be 0 0.05, so that would be uh, 0 0.06, 0 0.016, 0 0.017, 0 0.018. I'm going to divide it up a little better than that. So we got up to get to two, so we want to get about from there, there's a point zero, a point zero one five, so maybe six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe right about here. You get a little bit of leeway, but you're going to be to the right of the center point of this block here. We then go to a one point five. We got to have point zero two seven. So 1.5 and 0 0.02, now again that would be 0 0.025, 6, 7, 8, 9 there. So 6, 7, let's call it right about here. And again, we're just to the left of the center point, because the center point would point 0 0.025. 0 0.0275 would be the center point. So just to a little bit to the left of the center point. At 2, we're point, uh, zero 0.035. So 2 newtons. Point zero 0.035 will be right on the line. This is going to come in handy a little bit later. And finally, the last data point is uh, 2.5 newtons and point zero 0.046. So point 2.5 and point 0 0.045 and then 6, 7, 
eight, nine, just kind of ballparking it there. But uh, 0 0.046 would be just a hair off this line here. We're now asked to draw a best fit line or curve. So uh, this is a straight line, so we need to use a ruler. And we want our ruler to go right through the middle of our data points, touching as mo many of them as possible. And so it looks like that. Question 64 says, using your graph, that's important, calculate the spring constant. Show all work, including equation substitution with units. So they want you to get information off the graph. And the idea is, if somehow if you screw up the graph, and you make a mistake there, you lose a couple of points, but then if you take your information off the graph, then uh, uh, even if you screwed up the graph, part uh, 64, those two points will still be uh, full. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to find some intersect. And for me, it looks like this point right here is crossing... Uh, two of my major division lines. So I'm going to use the, this data point right here. That way I can be insured of getting data off of my graph. And so I want to say that my force at this point, when I look at my scale, and I can say that my force is equal to 2.25 newtons based on my scale. The uh, x-intercept is going to drop me down right here at point zero four zero, and that's marked. So I'm going to say my elongation is point zero four zero meters. Don't forget the units. You have to include your units in order for this to work. According to my formula sheet, k is the spring constant. So I'm looking for k. The formula for force on a spring is equal to k times x. So I can write the formula down. Force on a spring is equal to k times x. Force on a spring. And they want me to solve for k, so I do algebra. I want k by itself, so I divide both sides of the equation by x. So I can substitute in 2.25 newtons divided by 0 .040 meters is going to be equal to K. Now I get the calculator and I get an answer for K equal to about 56.25 newtons per meter. Dimensional analysis ensures that you get the proper units. So there's the spring constant.